Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, is a common human virus. It is one of the most widespread viruses in the world, affecting millions of people globally. It's part of the herpes virus family, which includes other well-known viruses, such as herpes simplex virus and varicella zoster virus, the latter of which causes chickenpox and shingles. EBV is known for causing infectious mononucleosis, often called mono, or the kissing disease. This illness is characterized by symptoms such as fever, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, and extreme fatigue. But EBV can lead to other illnesses too. It has been linked to conditions such as certain types of cancers, including Burkitt's lymphoma and nasopharyngeal carcinoma, as well as autoimmune diseases like multiple sclerosis. This essay will explore EBV, its effects on the body, and how to manage it. We will delve into the ways the virus is transmitted, the symptoms it causes, and the potential long-term health implications. Most people will get EBV at some point in their lives. In fact, it is estimated that up to 95% of adults worldwide have been infected with the virus by the time they reach adulthood. For many, it causes no symptoms or mild illness. In children, the infection often goes unnoticed, presenting with few or no symptoms. However, EBV can sometimes lead to more serious health problems. In some cases, the virus can reactivate later in life, leading to chronic symptoms and complications. Understanding EBV is crucial for maintaining good health. By being aware of the ways the virus can affect the body, individuals can take steps to protect themselves and seek appropriate medical care when needed. This essay aims to provide a comprehensive overview of EBV, empowering readers with knowledge about this common virus. We will also discuss current research and advancements in the understanding and treatment of EBV-related conditions. If you have concerns about EBV, please consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. They can provide guidance on diagnosis, treatment options, and ways to manage symptoms effectively. EBV, or Epstein-Barr virus, spreads primarily through bodily fluids, particularly saliva. This means that any activity that involves the exchange of saliva can be a potential mode of transmission. This is why it's often called the kissing disease. Kissing is one of the most common ways the virus is spread, especially among teenagers and young adults. But kissing isn't the only way. You can get EBV through sharing utensils, drinking glasses, or even toothbrushes. These everyday items can easily become contaminated with saliva, making it easy for the virus to spread. Coughing and sneezing can also spread the virus through small droplets of saliva. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, tiny droplets containing the virus can be inhaled by others nearby. EBV is incredibly common worldwide. In fact, it's one of the most common human viruses, affecting people of all ages and backgrounds. In developing countries, most children are infected with EBV by the age of five. This early exposure often means that the virus is contracted before the immune system is fully developed. In developed countries, infection is more common in adolescence and young adulthood. This is likely due to differences in social behaviors and hygiene practices. By adulthood, over 90% of people have been infected with EBV. This high prevalence means that almost everyone carries the virus, even if they don't show symptoms. After the initial infection, EBV stays in your body for life. The virus integrates into your cells and remains there, often without causing any further issues. It typically remains dormant in your cells. This dormancy means that the virus is inactive and not causing any symptoms, but it is still present in your body. However, the virus can reactivate periodically. Reactivation can occur when the immune system is compromised or under stress, leading to the virus becoming active again. This reactivation usually doesn't cause symptoms unless your immune system is weakened. In people with weakened immune systems, reactivation can lead to more serious health issues, making it important to maintain a healthy immune system. Infectious mononucleosis, commonly known as mono, is the most well-known illness caused by EBV. Symptoms usually appear four to six weeks after infection. They can include extreme fatigue, fever, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, headache, muscle aches, and sometimes a rash. Diagnosis of mono often involves a physical exam and reviewing your symptoms in detail. Blood tests can confirm the presence of EBV antibodies in your system. There's no specific treatment for mono, unfortunately. Rest, 
plenty of fluids and over-the-counter pain relievers can help manage symptoms effectively. Chronic fatigue syndrome, or CFS, is a complex disorder characterized by persistent and debilitating fatigue. The exact cause of CFS is unknown. Some research suggests a link between EBV and CFS. Some people with CFS report having had mono in the past. However, it's important to note that not everyone with past EBV infection develops CFS. More research is needed to understand the connection. If you experience persistent fatigue lasting more than six months, consult a doctor to rule out other conditions and explore potential causes, including CFS. Section 5. EBV's link to cancer. In rare cases, EBV infection can increase the risk of certain cancers. These cancers include Burkitt's lymphoma, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and nasopharyngeal carcinoma. EBV doesn't directly cause these cancers. However, it can weaken the immune system or change infected cells in ways that contribute to cancer development. It's crucial to remember that most people with EBV will never develop these cancers. The risk is higher in people with weakened immune systems. Section 6. Autoimmune diseases and other conditions. Some studies suggest a possible link between EBV and autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases occur when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues. EBV might contribute to autoimmune diseases by triggering the immune system to attack healthy cells and interfering with normal immune function. More research is needed to confirm the link between EBV and autoimmune diseases. If you have concerns about autoimmune disorders, talk to your doctor. Section 7. Diagnosing EBV blood tests and more. Doctors diagnose EBV infection through blood tests. These tests detect antibodies your body produces in response to the virus. Different types of antibodies indicate different stages of infection. The DTEX EBV antibodies early in infection. Detect specific antibodies to confirm and differentiate between recent and past infections. Your doctor will consider your symptoms, medical history, and blood test results to make an accurate diagnosis. Section 8. Treatment Options. Managing Symptoms and Complications. There's no specific cure for EBV infection. Treatment focuses on managing symptoms and complications. Rest is crucial during the acute phase of infection. Over-the-counter pain relievers can help with fever and aches. Drink plenty of fluids. This can soothe a sore throat to reduce the risk of spleen rupture. In severe cases, antiviral medications might be prescribed. However, these medications don't eliminate the virus. They may help shorten the duration of symptoms. Section 9. Prevention Strategies, Hygiene and Awareness. Preventing EBV infection can be challenging. The virus is common and can be spread easily through saliva. However, you can reduce your risk of infection. Wash your hands frequently, especially before eating and after using the restroom. Avoid sharing personal items that come into contact with saliva, such as utensils, drinks and toothbrushes. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Raising awareness about EBV and its transmission is crucial for public health. Educating people about preventive measures can help reduce the spread of the virus. Section 10 living with EBV, long-term effects, and research. Most people recover fully from EBV infection, experiencing only mild symptoms such as fever, sore throat, and fatigue. These symptoms typically resolve within a few weeks. However, the virus remains dormant in your body for life. This means that even after you feel better, the virus is still present in your cells. In rare cases, EBV can reactivate and cause illness, especially in people with weakened immune systems. This reactivation can lead to more severe health issues, including certain types of cancers and autoimmune diseases. Long-term effects of EBV are uncommon, but they can include chronic fatigue syndrome and other persistent health problems. These conditions can significantly impact a person's quality of life. Research continues to explore the potential link between EBV and chronic illnesses. Scientists are investigating how the virus interacts with the immune system and other factors that may contribute to long-term health issues. Scientists are also working to develop vaccines and new treatments for EBV. These advancements could potentially prevent the initial infection or reduce the risk of reactivation and associated complications. If you experience any unusual or persistent symptoms after EBV infection, it's essential to consult your doctor for a proper evaluation.
Symptoms such as prolonged fatigue, unexplained weight loss, or persistent fever should not be ignored. They can help determine if your symptoms are related to EBV or another underlying condition. Early diagnosis and treatment can improve outcomes and help manage any long-term effects.